Bonsoir, ma famille, and welcome back to Cradle. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, looks like we need to get the flashlight again and redo this little bit. That's fine. Shouldn't take me too long to to sort things out. How do we? How do we? Oh, we had to like actually construct it, didn't we? Had to actually like put stuff down. Uh, I think we needed to put the flashlight down and then use the. Yeah, like that. Cool. Um, so the solution... Let me just read this book one last time. Pure white flame burns so brightly, so blindingly, that it pains the eyes to s behold it. Not see it. Behold it. Pure white flame. Yeah, that, that does not even remotely give me any hint as to what the actual solution is to this. But I googled it. I did. I caved and I looked it up. There's some very helpful people on the Steam forums, which... I mean, who the fuck knew that Steam had forums, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people on there who were able to answer my question. And the solution is as, as simple as it is fucking stupid. So what you do, you follow the sun, as previously established, the, the blinding white flame that burns the eyes to behold, you follow the sun. But then, once you follow the sun once, you follow the moon. Why? Well, because uh, because you do. Not because the game tells you to, but because you just do, don't you? And then, you follow the sun again. Oh, but now you're done following the sun, it's time to follow the moon. Are you starting to sense a pattern here yet? <laughs> Is it starting to make sense to you? <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. That was, that was a bit of a walk away, but I did it. And then we follow the moon. And then we follow the sun. And then, just for a change of pace, we follow the moon. I, I mean, it's clearly meant to, like, represent a day-night cycle, right? The sun goes and then the moon goes and then the sun goes and then the moon goes. So it's like... I feel like they could have established this with a, a slightly, you know, a riddle that actually made sense. Instead of just hinting at the sun. Like, okay, so the sun's the starting point, but... Who am I? That must be the question I've been looking for. Oh. I thought it was written in, like, Cyrillic or something, because I was reading it this way around. Who am I? Good question. It seems to be sending me back home. Uh-huh. We should probably keep that, huh? Here, you'll find the answer to your question. I feel like I could have just found this. It's like three feet from my house. Who am I? That's right, Tenebish. Who am I? Is the answer that leads to the secret of your past. You are but a step away from unraveling the mystery. From the ancient, mystifying events whose meaning I never did grasp until the end of my days. Perhaps only you are destined to reveal the divine plan. I promised you a key to the chest that store your parents' belongings. A key is before you, and with it I pass to you that which I have guarded in my memory for many years. Yes, the things in the chest belong to... Gotta butcher this. Uh, Dezambul and Sane. However, these people are not your parents, or even your relatives. They had a son of their own once, but he died in that explosion under the dome. He was five years old, and his name was Chagatai. Several days after the explosion, a golden eagle arrived here, carrying a human infant. He set the infant down on the ground in front of the year. You were that infant, Enabish. Who you are and where you come from, I do not know. Excuse me. Of all the fucking things that Enna that could have um, been the secrets of Enabish's past, all the established themes of this fucking game, of, of transporting human consciousness into other humans and into robotic bodies and this whole, like, idea of people rejecting the very physicality in which they're born. Instead, he was just brought by a bird? There's got to be more to it than that, surely. From that day, the home of my late son became a haven for you and Ongots. I was not repulsed by the strange appearance of your bodies. Who am I to pass judgment on Providence? Dismay came a month later when Chagatai's features on your face became unmistakable. 
goodbye forever, your grandfather barged in. Okay. Okay, there's a little more to it than that. I don't know what they mean, the strange appearance of, I mean, our bodies. Obviously, Ongots is funny looking, he's got the big hole in his chest, but presumably that means there was something a bit funky about Enabish as well. But he's cl he's some sort of clone of Chagatai or something, right? Is that what we're getting at here? But why did the bird bring him? Okay, there's still secrets to uncover. An empty envelope. Oh, is that the thing we just read? I, I thought that was on the screen, but maybe it wasn't. Okay, let's see what's inside the parents' possessions. See if there's any great and mysterious secret to be found there. Not that they're my real parents, they're my mysterious fake parents, but you know what I mean. Same, same deal. Parents are parents, right? They don't have to be biologically, uh... Whatever. Biologically whatever. It's very heavy. I need to remove the stuff that's inside to move it. <laughs> Alright. We have... A, sa a saddle. Is that what this is? Looks like a saddle. I need a horse for that. We have... An old monitor. Like, an old monitor from, like, the 1970s, which it's crazy to find something like this today. Never mind in a game set, like, what, 50 years from now, is it? Something like that? It's the end of this century, right, this game set. Maybe do something with that? I don't know. Foreign presence. Why is it that the human body t deteriorates within spheres faster than any other organic life form? Thus far... Not only have attempts at studying this phenomenon failed to draw us closer to the answer, but on the contrary, have only added mystery to an already baffling picture. Research indicates that the ruin of organic matter is only the beginning of the process, its initial stage. What follows is something far more extraordinary than simple destruction, as the seething hodgepodge of disintegrated matter quite unfathomably begets the formation of new organic structures. Oh, sorry, my mouth was watering like crazy there. <laughs> So I have to start drooling talking about new organic structures, you know. That, that's just what I'm into. <laughs> anyway, I think I've got a cold coming on, but bl blame that. Uh, the, the, this eerie, mysterious... No. This eerie mystery lasts only an instant. The tiny fragments of formed matter crumble without ever assuming semblance of any sensible shape. What is this phenomenon? The mechanisms hide behind this creative activity? And what exactly is being created? Unfortunately, for as long as the epicenters of emissions remain inaccessible to our measuring technologies, our chances of cracking the mystery are infinitesimally small. I mean, is this what I am? Is this what Enabish is? Was he created from... from the disintegration of another body? It's just a collection of magazines. It's just Dad's porn stash, isn't it? <laughs> MPR zero, strange sensations. The incredible nature of the Babylonian effect. Passium, four three three meters squared, I guess. Properties of Passium's bitter isomers nucleus. No, okay, that's just that. Okay. Anything else? This, an old like wireless radio. I don't know why. I mean, the grandfather was born in like 2003, so the parents were presumably born like what nowish, in in you know real time, maybe a little bit later than now. Why would they have technology from like the 1970s? I suppose this is this is like the Mongolia. Is that where we are? I keep forgetting. So maybe they don't have like such advanced technology as we have in the West. I mean, obviously they have it, but, you know, in like remote places like this, it might not be as common. It might be more n normalized for them to still have older, older shit. I like how this one was just open the whole time, but I just couldn't open it because there was a heavier chest placed on top of it. I, I feel like I could have just pushed it off if I really needed to get into this stuff. It's got some fucking laundry. Got some very cool cowboy boots. Yeet. I just like mocking 
I like how they both landed pointing up. What's the chances of that? It's a very weird centers of gravity. But yeah, I was just mocking her because she doesn't have functional feet. So I thought I'd throw some shoes at her. About as, about as cruel as an, an unusual a punishment as I could muster. What is any of this? This is a rocket. That's pretty cool. That goes in here now. I'm saving that for later. You never know when you might need a rocket. Why am I not finding any, like, great secrets? All I'm finding is balls and shit. I thought I'd have discovered something really cool going through all this, but... It's just a load of shit, isn't it? Ah, a pack of letters. One correspondence mentions Mark and Eda. Interesting. I've already written you about him. He works nearby at the station. Well, a few years back, he met a girl. He says they saw each other only once in a company of friends, and somehow, the way she looked at him, he's been dreaming of that moment ever since. Mark speaks of some strange sensation called the Babylonian effect, and that the entire institute is studying it at present. Zambul and I laugh in return. The sensation is totally normal, Mark. We've studied it, studied it, studied it, it thoroughly long ago. Smiley face. Kick your science to the curb and go to Eda before she gets her body replaced. Is that... Yeah, they're both the same thing. Okay. I can assume what my next task is. Hey! I found it. You and Mark had met once before. Yes, I already know. I remembered it. Then why am I wasting my fucking time looking things up for you? Jesus. Oh, I click this. Mark was recalling some kind of special moment. Nothing so special that it stayed with me. Except, maybe, there was this strange sensation. A sensation? Yes. Sometimes I get a peculiar feeling. It somehow resembles anxiety, but only partially. I can't really describe it. It is a sad, pleasant feeling. I had felt it again that particular evening, and... And what? Anabish. I'm about to shut down. Wait. We're not done figuring out your past. And we won't. I am out of time. I received a message. From whom? From my neurochip. Only, the neurochip writes in red letters. I'm being informed that it is self-destructing. Know what I can do? What? Split myself in two. What do you mean? When I shut down, my upper half will split from my legs. <laughs> Good question, Anubis. Why? I have no clue. That's just how my body works. I can show you. Watch. No, this should be good. Don't try and stop it. I'm very entertained by this concept. Wait, don't. Ida, listen. I'm listening. Maybe there's still a way to fix everything. Fix everything? Well, there is a way. If you can travel to the past and pass four digits to Professor Koch, that would fix everything. Koch is how you pronounce that. Not the way you think it would be. Fix. Everything. Oh, she's red screening. Are you going to... Split in two, then? You gonna detach? No? Oh! You are, you're just not gonna have an animation for it. Okay. Why did everything, like, go to shit suddenly? Why did her doing this suddenly make it rain? Oh. There's a light in here. God, it's so fucking ominous in here right now. Especially with the, the twitching lady parts on the floor. Ooh! Didn't realise I could kind of shock with electricity to speak for a few minutes. That was a thing we talked about, wasn't it? Does that mean i got to take her with me somewhere? Come on. I don't like this at all, but I guess you're coming with me. Is my best bet. No. 
if it's not what we do. I thought maybe we'd use those batteries, but it would appear not. I'm trying to think where else I could get like a, a surge of electricity from. What does Tab say? Eda's neurocopy is destroyed. If you bring Eda to her senses by aiming an electrical discharge at the nerve plexus on her back, take Eda to a powerful source of electricity. I mean, I'm assuming it'll be over yonder. I can't. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is going to be some fucking uh, Frankenstein's monster shit going on here then. Harnessing the power of the sky itself. Is the, uh, is the cool thing working? I missed it, but I'm assuming lightning just keeps zapping over there over and over again. There's like some sort of lightning rod or something over yonder doesn't work. Okay, alright, I guess we'll walk then. I guess I'll just keep staring into her lack of eyes, and lack of boobs, and lack of anything from the waist down. She's basically missing all the best female parts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm an eye man, what can I say? Oh, it's very dramatic, isn't it? wonder what we're going to get from supercharging this poor unfortunate lady back to life for a, a brief moment. I wonder what great secrets are going to be revealed unto me in her final gasping breaths. I don't like the way her head moves around with the power of physics. It's quite upsetting. Sometimes it looks like she's looking up. I feel like, um, very specific reference, but everything reminds me of Dark Souls. The dudes in Dark Souls in Blacktown who wield torsos and like swing whole like half humans at you as a weapon. That's what I feel like I am right now. So where does the lightning is it like up there? Whoops. Sorry. Sorry about that, love. Didn't mean to. Oh, is it in here? Is it this thing? This thing that I never understood before. Can I plop her in here somewhere? Yeah, I really thought this would be it because it I didn't really know what it was for before, but I don't see anywhere I can like nest her. God, the game does not like me carrying this thing around. Just give her a bit of a, a bit of a smoking. Yeah, it definitely lands up there. With your Eda in a vertical position at the centre of the ruined flower bed. What? The ruined flower bed? Oh, hello. If I position Eda vertically, I'll be able to plug that sparking cable into her. Ah. Alright. Can't use. We're gonna like... Just hang her on there. Alright. Okay. And then this... Hey Onguts. What the fuck are we doing, lad? What is this? What is this necromancy we're, we're fucking playing with right now? It's your fault, you know. I think I just zapped myself. I'm fine though, don't worry about it. It's no biggie. Get rid of this. Now where did the cable go? I lost the cable. There it is. So not got anything to say to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are 
Are you there? Ida. I'm here. How do you feel? Strange. Strange? In what way? Describe your state. I feel anxious. <laughs> and a fish. That's good. Good? Yes. Just don't shut down. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. Uh huh. Can you explain everything to me? I found myself immensely lost for words right now. Oh, it's Eda. Yeah, I got that. You didn't have to get that. Expecting a music video. <laughs> I feel like I should be paying more attention to what this means. Trying to translate something from this, but. Like, who are these people? Why knock off Evanescence? Was this the end? This is the I guess this is the end. As I say, being serenaded by knockoff Evanescence. <laughs> what is this? So like, was it like that it was all taking place in one of their brains? That it wasn't real? Because like the whole world turned into a ball and they were talking about the sphere and the sphere creating things or something? Like, was it that like when I've forgotten the guy's name, the, the kid, the Enabish was like modeled after? When he died and he he his matter created this world and then like he had an existence within that? in like the final fleeting moments of his actual life? Is, is that sort of what we're... Like that's my best interpretation I've got here. And Ida was like someone he... Well, he, Ida was the person who brought him to the facility, right? So he would have like looked up to her and 
um, seen her as like a guardian, even though she'd only been working there a day. But obviously, she forged a link with him, and that's why he was inserting her into his into his fever dream. That's my best interpretation of what happened there, I guess. Unless something is going to clear it up post credits, that's all I can really offer you here. If you've got any better interpretations of what the fuck just happened in this game, then please offer them. Please offer them up to me right now. I, I need them. Um. Yeah, that that I guess that I guess was Cradle. That's what it was. Um. I mean, for what it was, it was cool. Bigger team worked on it than I expected, to be fair. Look at all these people. Look at all these credits still rolling. I, I thought it was just like a tiny project, but... Um, yeah, it, 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 it was cool. You know, let's say the, the, the cube minigame could have used maybe some slight developing. Um, and the story... I, I mean, I guess I got something out of it. I pulled my own conclusions, and that's that's obviously has provided enough for that but for a for a game that had some genuinely very good world building some very good ideas some cool um backstory to it it did seem to just sort of fizzle out at the end without really coming to any major conclusion but i mean the moment the dramatic moment with shocking Ida back into existence or whatever was was something The, the lyrics of that song might have been trying to tell me something but I wasn't really paying enough attention honestly so I apologise if, if I've just talked over the, the conclusion to the game but yeah um, they're thanking me for playing and I'm thanking you for watching that I think hesitantly he says was Cradle um, if you liked what you saw maybe support the developers it's always nice to support developers i don't think there's really much more to the game than what you've just seen but you know throw them a few books if you can pick up the game on the cheap you know do, do what you can um yeah that's it um and i guess i will finish here then um as to what I'm playing next on the channel, um, I do intend to go back to Pathologic, so I might do that, or I might try and find another quick short game to play in between. Haven't quite decided yet, but uh, either way, um, thanks for being along on this fucking weird-ass journey. Um, I need to play some more normal games, man. I just need to play games where some Italian plumber jumps on mushrooms, you know, or something. Some Something that you're not meant to have to think too hard about because my poor little brain's suffering. It really is. Um, and on that note, I'll see you. Bye.